Over the years, our families had a share of health problems. So prescriptions are a part of our life. Before we went to the big box store. We both thought it would help us save. But with the long lines and impersonal service, filling prescriptions became a chore. That's when a friend recommended DNH. Now Tristan knows our prescriptions. Brenda always helps us find the right vitamins. And after Dad's fall, Monica's been a real expert with all our home medical needs, all without the lines. Trust and service. That's our DNH. Good morning and welcome to Radio <laughs> Friends. This is Thursday, it's September the 5th, and I've got two of my really good friends. I have to be careful how I say that because last time I said my old friend. Uh, <laughs> two of my good friends with us. I said you're older than I am. Yeah, two Kit, weeks. I, I am. Kit and Kathy Salter, good to have you here. Wonderful to be I here fall. always. Yeah, and uh, you're here to talk about the Saturday morning book talk. At the uh, Historical Society, right? Yes. At the Boone County Historical Society Museums and Galleries. Okay, thank the you. The whole ensemble. Got it. <laughs> and you're going first on this, aren't I you, I will. Kit? Thank you. I want to comment on your wonderful opening line. Paul is always such fun because he says, these are my two good friends or my good old friends. And I've heard of maybe 600 of your 1,000 shows. <laughs> and the opening line is, Hi. I'm glad to introduce two or one of a really special friendship circle I have. Nah, nah. Okay. Anyway, all right. Well, don't you realize they call this radio friends? All these people that are on here. I'm going to take over and talk about the book talk. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, so I what, is, what is this book talk? The book talk is the. It's it's a great example of a little idea that bubbles out one Saturday morning. Uh -huh. Kathy and Jennifer Flink are talking, and Jennifer says, "You know, I'd like to have something happen here on." Saturdays once in a while, we have a dark museum often. And Kathy thinks, oh, okay. And in about three weeks, she has the idea of book talks. Mm -hmm. And so we began with Ed Ayler a year and a half ago. That was a year uh, and a half well, ago? Well, it was just about a year and a half ago, maybe June or Ju July. Yeah, July, so 13 months ago. And he talked about Blue Highways Revisited. Yeah. We had about 35 or 40 people. We had it in a tight little room. And it was pretty much fun. But we've added a dimension of extraordinary benefit. We have the Flower Girls Bake Shop from Ashen, Julie Sexton and a family of three cute little towheads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they bake knockout French pastries. So now for our book talks, everybody, wherever you are, look at this book talk thing because this they, is... They have, the, go on, they have to go online. They can yeah, go to kbia.org right. and uh, click on the talk shows and then Radio Friend, and you can see this little bookmark that Kit made. He's very proud of it. I am proud. It's good. Um, <laughs> when you're an academic, you love to do something with paper. <laughs> it's very important. Okay. Now, so, everybody that comes to the book talk, will they get one of these complimentary? Absolutely. These were embargoed until September 7th, so I can't <laughs> give the these out yet. But for you, I'll show them. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, okay. we have at 9.30, the Flower Girls Bake Shop put focaccia, scones, cinnamon runs, um, coconut macaroons, and fresh pastries on two tables. We have a great urn of 40 cups of hot coffee, hot, mm -hmm. good, strong coffee. And then at 10, Kathy introduces the speaker. We've got, uh, we're booked for another 15 or 12, 12 months. So what, when's, uh, let's see, the next one is when? September 7th, Saturday. The, the oh, first this coming Saturday. 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 This, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this coming September Saturday. September 7th. So who's speaking? The Algonquin Scribblers are speaking, and they're doing a preview of Matthew Goodman's 80 Days, which Kathy will talk about just in a second. Okay. In any case, we have one other dimension that's important, Paul, because it's still time for you and James to make a move on this. Somebody asked me once, Kit, who sponsors these book talks? Uh -huh. And I said, nobody. He said, well, could I? Well, yeah. Well, how much would it cost? And I said, $100. So, so you're and looking so, for people to help sponsor your book talk. We've got four sponsors here for the next four talks. Hundred bucks each. Go right to the society. Helps cover our reception costs, our coffee costs. It's wonderful. And here I'm going to kick in. Okay, yeah, because we That's only all? got three minutes yes. left here. So um, th the sponsors help keep the lights on. Mm -hmm. You know, with, with and, it, and it all goes to the historical. It all society. goes Absolutely. to the historical society. Uh, we now have authors, and these are all local authors, except for September, the September book talk. 
These are local authors. We now have, we are signed up through 2014. Wow. And we have one into 2015. Kaya Parsonen, who was the One Read mm -hmm. book, uh, The Ruins of Us, was supposed to be our September book talk. And, of course, she's won the One Read, so mm -hmm. she's quite busy this month of September. 30 talks. So, instead... Uh, we are going to, Ken and I are going to be talking about a book called <coughs> 80 Days, Nellie Bly and Elizabeth Bislin's History-Making Race Around the World, which oh. happened in 1889. And no one remembers all these years later who I they were. I can recall that time at all. And the title itself is quite something to remember. Yeah. But, but I now remember it. You did it. that well. So we are going to talk about the book, and then we are going to also talk about three days in October the 15th, 16th, and 17th, when we are bringing Matthew Goodman, we've helped pay for it through uh, contributions, mm -hmm. to Columbia. He will have a reception at the Boone County Historical Society. He will be in this building, the Reynolds Journalism Institute, on the 16th, talking to journalism and honors uh -huh. college students okay. and giving a public lecture in the evening. And on the third day, the 17th, he will be at the Daniel Boone Public Library speaking in the evening at 7 o'clock. Uh, so everyone should come to on the 7th of September at 9.30, have a pastry the, and cup of coffee. You and bet. then Ken and I will not only talk about this marvelous book, but we will we have copies of the book people can buy in the gift shop there already. And then we will tell them day by day what's going to be happening in October when Matthew yeah. Goodman well, comes to Columbia. Uh, and uh, there is a possibility we may have a film at Ragtag that is about, um, but they have to come and find out what okay. it's about. Okay, so come <laughs> this coming Saturday. That's correct. Then I'm looking down at some of your other days, November 2nd. Yes. Howard Marshall, is that... That's the fiddle playing Howard That's Marshall. That's Howard Marshall, wonderful. fiddle player. Yeah. Wonderful. Play me something yeah. quick and devilish. Yeah. Spons. And Howard Marshall, outstanding. Yes, old time he is. fiddle player. Yep, yep. So he's going to be doing some fiddle music yes. on November second. We can't promise what the authors are going to do yes, in their one hour. So. Oh, I can't has. imagine that Howard Marshall would come and not bring his fiddle. I don't think he's doing any mannequins. <laughs> <laughs> on on uh, October tenth, we uh -huh. have William Clausen, who has written a book called Journeyman. Mm -hmm. Uh, about 30 years of travel okay. around the world. We, real quick, and then on December 7th. And we have Peter. Peter Ochel doing Breaking Barriers, Working and Loving While Blind. Mm -hmm. okay. So another Boone County author. Very yeah. different, but all, all three of the ones, October, November, and December, are all local authors who okay. have a book. All right. Kathy and Kit, thank you so much for coming by. But if you want to see and meet Kathy and Kit this coming Saturday right. at the Boone County Historical Society. When do I get my time? <laughs> you got this your time. Is it? You got eight by ten glossies too that you're giving out, Kit? <laughs> Tomorrow, Hank Waters will be on with us. We're talking about well his 150 years in the newspaper <laughs> business. <laughs> Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Aker at KBIA. Our floor director is Rachel Gangwear and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mouser. Bye-bye.